بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم <coughs> الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد اي الحبت في الله امام ابن كثير رحمه الله تعالى said اهل السنه والجماعه say every statement or action not mentioned on the Sahaba is bid'a. This is because if there was good in something, they would have preceded us in it. That is due to the fact that they never left anything that can be considered good except that they rushed to do it. Ahabati fillah, this is the, this was the state of the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een that they didn't leave off anything and this is why I encourage myself and I hope that if I go depart from the path that someone will remind me because we have to remind one another as brothers and sisters in Islam to continue to always go back to the Salaf of this Ummah to understand Islam, how the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala anu majma'een, how they understood it. And even when new issues arise, new challenges face us, things that existed, uh, that didn't exist before, that now exist, that we have a minhaj, a methodology in general that we can go back to that our ulama can go back to, the scholars of Ahl Sunnah can go back to and derive a ruling, a religious ruling based on Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah even if they didn't face the particular issue that we might face but there is an usul, there's a methodology and there's a foundation in which we derive those rulings from, which we operate from, and which we, our creed comes from. And that will give us success. That's why it's still relevant, Ahabat Fillah, the statement of Imam Ibn Kathir when he said, Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'a say, every statement or action not mentioned on the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een, is bid'ah. This is because if there was good in something, they would have preceded us in it. That is due to the fact that they never left anything that can be considered good, except that they rushed to do it. The Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een, they formed the foundation of Ahl Sunnati wa Jama'ah. We love the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and we strive to follow their example, because we need and want success from Allah Azza wa Jal. And we ask Allah the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of the inhabitants of Jannah to Fardos and meet the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala anu majma'een wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam